Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual, guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. This is a company I've spoken about in the past. And I hope some of you guys paid attention to it. Uh, because since I've spoken about it, the stock has been going up. But of course, we don't look at the stock. We look at what the company is doing. And a lot of the whales I notice are piling in now and buying. It's a company that William Lee invested heavily into along with Toyota. Um, but to set the stage for today's video, take a look at this clip and then we shall continue. The idea of a large truck barreling down the highway, carrying a heavy load and without a driver's hands on the steering wheel may seem strange and even frightening to some. Well, in China, that is exactly what's now being tested. Along certain routes, driverless lorries are being allowed to operate under supervision. And when it comes to smaller delivery vans, they're already sharing the streets with human-controlled vehicles. Our China correspondent Stephen McDonnell reports. These trucks are driving on a public road without a human being behind the wheel. Driverless transport company Pony AI was given official permission to film a video showing just what its technology can do. Now it's running a pilot program, making deliveries from Beijing to Tianjin port, which the company showed to the BBC. So here we have one of these self-driving trucks from the outside. It looks like a normal truck. Let's have a look. Hey, <laughs> The normal runs involve a safety driver, ready to take over in an emergency. So here we are, we're racing down the freeway, and I've got to say it's pretty weird because you look over, there's the driver, his hands are off the steering wheel. Of course, I was a bit scared the first time in an autonomous truck, but after spending a lot of time testing them, I think they are pretty good and safe. I asked how the truck's sensors work. This is our main sensor. It uses lasers which can reach a long way. There are also cameras which can track in multiple directions to detect blind spots. These test vehicles are running daily limited routes. All right, guys, welcome back. So I didn't even know that they are also into that space with the, tr with the lorries. Um, but all I knew is that they were doing robotaxi. On Friday, the stock made a little uptick because they announced on Friday that it is, which is yesterday, that they, it is, Pony AI is ramping up its robotaxi mass production and commercialization efforts by launching public road testing for its seventh generation robotaxis in China. And its seventh generation robotaxis, by the way, guys, uh, cost them 70% less to make. The CEO said that they're gonna be a profitable company by the end of this year. So let's see if he's right or wrong. It's a company that I've invested into, but it's not a profitable company just like NEO. So do your own due diligence and research. It says the vehicle tested on roads <clears throat> in the southern Chinese mega cities of Guangzhou and Shenzhen are based on Guangzhou JAC, second generation Ion V model and are equipped with Pony AI's advanced autonomous driving system. The autonomous driving technology company recently obtained a regulatory permit to conduct these road tests for its seventh generation robotaxi, which was jointly developed with JAC, GAC. Sorry, At the Shanghai Auto Show, Pony AI debuted its generation seventh autonomous driving system in April. I remember that, guys. Um, to support widespread adoption, the stock made a little pullback recently because the earnings report was not what <laughs> Wall Street expected um, but of course it's still not a profitable company and the CEO said to look forward to way better earnings in the next earnings report and going forward because of the amount of um, cost cutting that they're making so <clears throat> this is a company that I truly believe in um, just like with Neo <clears throat> But anyway, guys, it also goes on to say the vehicles on the roads in southern Chinese megacities of Guangzhou and Shenzhen are based on GAC second generation Ion V model. <clears throat> the autonomous driving technology company recently obtained a regulatory permit to conduct these road tests for its seventh generation robotaxi. 
It says that the Shanghai Auto Show Pony AI debuted its Generation 7 autonomous driving system in April. To support widespread adoption, Pony AI has established deep commercial partnerships with global leaders in technology, mobility services, and deployment platforms, including Tencent Holding, uh, Tencent Cloud, Alibaba Group Holding, <clears throat> Alipay, and AMAP. So Pony AI first quarter sales grew 11.6% to 13.98 million, mainly driven by rapid growth in robotaxi service revenue. Now this is a huge addressable market, guys, and this is just the beginning, I believe. The analyst <clears throat> consensus estimate for sales was 90.11 million uh, Chinese yuan. Robotaxi service revenue climbed, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, 200.3% to 1.7 million um, US dollars in the quarter, primarily attributed to expanding its public facing fair charging operations in tier one cities in China and refined operational strategies for diverse use user groups. Also this week, the EV grant um, is being given out in China. And I believe that with Donald Trump team, it was just announced yesterday, will be meeting with the Chinese team in, um, in England this week coming, that we should see some fruitful talks. And the reason why I'm saying that is because when Trump called Xi uh, last week, yes, Trump called Xi, um, and the talk lasted for about an hour and a half, according to Trump when he tweeted it out. One of the reasons, one of the main things that came out of that phone call was China agreed to still keep sending, to start back sending, I should say, rare earth minerals, which is the key, the key into uh, China's play card, or one of the main keys, because without rare earth minerals, you can't have your phones, you can't have your TVs, you can't have your cars, you can't have x-ray machines, etc., etc. America will come to a screeching halt. You can't have weapons, F-16s. So I'm sure the Chinese government did not agree to just start back doing that um, without Trump saying something in that phone call. Pony AI made a huge pullback recently because from 20 something dollars to like 13 dollars something it was down so a lot of it is due to the trade war and tariff fears that's it that's it so <clears throat> if the talks turns out to be fruitful uh this coming week we should see a huge uptick in all chinese companies uh, in terms of the share price. I'm not talking about the company itself. The companies themselves are doing incredible and selling products worldwide. That's not what we're focusing on. We're focusing on what will happen to the share price now. So <clears throat> it will be very interesting going forward to see what happens with the share price of NEO and all these companies if a great trade deal is established. And hopefully part of that deal is to allow Chinese EVs to come into America to create competition, which is drastically needed because we see, for example, Toyota is about to release uh, EV in China for like $22,000. Um, and it's a nice looking EV, but yet the Toyota Prius, which is a hybrid is $38,000 in America because there's no competition so they can inflate the prices and sell them. And I had this um, debate with a guy on my job. I got a little bit ticked off. Um, you know, guys, I have a really mild temper, but <laughs> I got really ticked off because he was saying, yeah, China wants to flood our market with a lot of cheap products. I said, well, the phone that you have, that Apple phone is made in China, your TV, most of the components of your car is made in China, but the CEOs of your American companies inflate the price a thousand percent when it comes here and you have no problem with that, right? The, uh, not so intelligent guy didn't have a comeback for that <clears throat> but this is the reality of what's going on so I hope you guys found this video yet again to be informational inspirational and motivational if so guys don't forget to hit that thumbs up it takes a lot of time to do these videos and editing and if you haven't yet subscribed you might want to think about doing so because in this channel we are waking up the middle class for the first time to get a major piece of the pie from the ground level up as to how the game is played on Wall Street and like 50 said we get rich or we die trying guys.